Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another Fashion Report Friday, the weekly video series attempting to get you the most MGP possible from the Fashion Report minigame located in the Gold Saucer when judging begins on a Friday. This is week 130 and the theme this time is dedicated to the craft. The clues include in tunic for chest, check and check for your legs, labor of love for your boots, and jewels of red for your top or right ring slot. In this video, we'll look at a 100 score, an 80 with dies, and the easiest 80 of the week. For 100 then, I chose the Hempen Tunic. You can actually buy this chess piece from a vendor, head to any of the three starting city-states to a low-level armor vendor, such as Gualta here in Uldar, and you can buy this from the Disciple of War, and then the level 1 tab. This will cost you 59 gil. These are locked to Disciple of War only. If you really want to consider other alternatives, the Hempen Shepherd's Tunic, the Cotton Shepherd's Tunic, and the Weathered Shepherd's Tunic will all give you gold for this slot to this week. For the legs then, I went with the wind silk bottoms. You can make these with a Master Weaver 3 recipe for Weaver. This actually can come from Palace of the Dead spoils as well, if you'd rather, and these all work for all classes in the game. Other items that would work here include the ruby cotton bottoms, and indeed the ghost bark bottoms of casting that share the same model. For the feet then, I went with the Amateur's Thigh Boots. You can buy these from low-level city-state armor vendors once again, such as Gualta in Uldar. These are from the Disciple of Hand and Land tab, 10 to 19 tab. These are equipable by all classes level 10 and above in the game and cost a whopping 288 gil. Alternatives do include the Initiate's Thigh Boots, the Boarskin Thigh Boots, and the Raptor skin fire boots as well. Those will all give you top score for the slot. And finally, for the ring slot, I went with the Sunstone Ring, usable by all classes in the game, level 29 and above. You can grab this from any low-level jewelry vendor, such as Sileus in Uldar's Steps of Thal. This will cost you 1,735 gil in total. For alternatives, obviously most red-themed rings will work. This includes the Rubelite ring, the Ruby ring, and indeed the Garnet ring as just a couple of other options that will work. A pretty simple 100 then, but let's move on to an 80 with dies. For an 80 with just dies, equip something in every slot of gear, and then die your left side, Die your weapon marsh green, your helm snow white, your body russet brown, your hands russet brown, your legs dalamud red, and finally your feet russet brown. This will give you an 80 score, probably 84 considering you have something equipped and it's giving you extra uh, points for certain items. But don't worry about that, you're basically getting 80 points from the dies alone there. Just make sure you have something equipped in all of your equipment slots. For the easiest possible 80 of the week then, with the least amount of effort, equipable by any class in the game, level 29 and above, equip your amateur's thigh boots and combine that with the sunstone ring. Those two items equipped together with something equipped in all of the other character slots, it doesn't matter what else you equip, as long as you have those two things equipped, will guarantee you an 80 score. It's incredibly easy and very useful for your alts this week indeed. Anyhow, a link to this week's theory thread will be in the description for you to see more options from a community on Reddit. However, if you have your own solutions that you'd like to share here, feel free to do so in the comment section, as it does help many other people. Thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time.